Seattle Showgal here with Jimmy LaPaul from the album Leaf. How are you? I'm good. I'm tired. Very good. tired, but... Why are you so tired this beautiful night? Um, because we played Portland last night, <clears throat> and it was a great, awesome show. It was sold out, and we uh, drank some. What's your and favorite drink? <clears throat> I'm a whiskey drinker, Jameson. Oh James man, Jameson 12, dude. Yeah. Give me a little high five. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, basically we had to well, we had to get up at eight in the morning to drive here from Portland to do KEXP. So mm -hmm. a little tired. It's a hard life for such a superstar as yourself. Yeah, everybody thinks it's so fun and easy, but no. it's not so glamorous. <laughs> yeah. Well, congratulations on the release of your new thank you album. Now that it's out, is it came out on the second? Uh -huh. How how do you feel about it? It's been in the works for a bit. Yeah, your, I mean, what are your thoughts on your recent release? Oh, uh, I feel really good about it. It's doing really well so far. Um, our shows are doing really well. Uh, just things just feel really good. It's just a, it's it's good. It mm -hmm. just feels um, very positive. Feels like we're moving forward and. Um, yeah, it feels good. Yeah, this is your first release where you actually took your your um, band support with you into the studio and recorded. So, how does that feel? Not doing everything yourself? Do you feel like you're relinquishing a little bit of control there? That feels good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not I mean, so much work. First, yeah, I mean, for the first time, I only you know, I did drums on one song, but I mean, still Tim, you know, Tim and I kind of worked together on it. Like I did one part and he did another part, and for the most part, I just did. You know, I, I played only everything with, you know, the black and whites. It's just mm -hmm. keyboards, that was it. It's the only thing I played on this record, so. And of course the programming and all that kind of stuff, but. Um, and then writing the songs, but I mean, still, yeah, not having to do a lot of the other stuff was, was pretty awesome. Do you feel <clears throat> like the name, the album leaf, is morphing into a bad name as opposed to a moniker mm -hmm. for yourself? I, to be honest, I don't really think about it uh, that much. Or at all, <laughs> um, but I mean I don't know. Play I mean, music. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like I, you know, I could care less if people think it's a band or if people think it's me or whatever. I think that people, you know, know it's it's not like I'm, you know, the, some you know egomaniac that needs to be, you know, the solo guy and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I mean, I set up on the outside of this. I'm not even set up in the center of the stage ever, you know. It's, mm -hmm. So it's not. That's really true. About that. yeah. You're saying you were sitting down. I couldn't even yeah. find you from the back. It's not about like, me. It's is... about the music. You know, so. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> but, been um, over a decade. Yeah. Definitely. So. And I mean, uh, the people you know, people who follow us know, you know, or follow me know, like what it is, and I don't need to prove it or care or whatever, you know. So. Mm -hmm. It's just more so. I mean, the band. It could be a band that you know, I guess, has a guy. The, the, a main guy that writes the songs or something like that, you know, I mean, I'm really mm -hmm. giving it much thought. Well, I mean, along with the fact that you've been going, you've been making music for since 98 mm -hmm. as the album Leaf, what would you say is your favorite release so far? Um, of album Leaf? Yeah. Um, definitely mm -hmm. this one, I think. I'm really, really, really happy with this record. Um, and... Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm really happy with this record. Mm -hmm. really. So would you say it's more of like a forward movement or growth? Because there's been like, everyone has their own opinion as far as growth yeah. in the album Leaf and course, just like I mean, your own style. Everyone's going to knock the vocals, everyone's going <laughs> to knock this, this. It's just like whatever, you know. I, I mean, it feels to me like moving forward and, and <clears throat> putting something, you know, like a, prog uh, you know, a natural kind of progression, you know between records and stuff like that. Um, you know, and I sang more, and I'm gonna sing, and I'm still gonna sing, and people can not like it, and I don't really care. <laughs> you just play music. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I mean, I sing because this is what I do. This is, this is my, you know, fun, and this is my outlet, and I'm just gonna do, you know, I just do it, and I don't really care if people like it or not. That's <laughs> so right. the vocals go, you know. <laughs> this is your just, favorite release. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I, and I like to challenge myself on records, so that's why, you know, I continue to kind of, you know, just keep going singing-wise, and I'm getting more and more confident at it, and, and you know, I don't have a singer's voice, I'm not, you know, I'm not like a Bob Dylan or a Neil or Tom Petty or whatever, or, you know. Stuff like that. I just um, I you're just, Jimmy yeah. Laval. Yeah, that's it. So maybe, <laughs> so maybe, hey, maybe now it's like, oh, 
You know, like a Jimmy Lovato voice. And that's like something. Sure, it's an aesthetic. You're, you're creating something <laughs> new. <laughs> so um, my next question for you then is, um, well, talking around growth and what your music has been used for, your music's been used a lot in film and TV and um, you score quite a bit. So um, is there any particular piece that your music's been used for that you favor? Or would you, you feel embodies your art? Um. I don't know. It's kind of a big question since you're yeah, you know, for a lot. Exactly, and there's a lot of stuff that I don't even know about too. So certain things that, um, I mean, like for instance, they it was used for um, public a PA announcement, yeah. public public service Perfect. PSA, a PSA, PSA public service so announcement for, yeah. <laughs> for um, you know in support of um, Barack Obama, you know, for and and so that felt awesome. But at the same time, they turned around and they used the same song in support of the. Uh, the troops, and which kind of made it seem like in support of the war in a way. So that's like it's like, oh, that's awesome, but that sucks. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, but and then I, somebody wrote in and said, "Are you serious? You let them use your song?" It's like I didn't know. This is the first I heard of it, and I still haven't seen it. But um, you know, my mom told me about it too. You know, what I mean? <laughs> so it's just kind of I don't know. But yeah, there's a lot of different stuff that happens and. Some stuff I know about, some stuff I don't. Um, it's not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Why is it bad? It's not bad. Anymore. Yeah, it's good. It's all yeah. good. Yeah. Let's talk about um, 2008. You did that awesome score for Sunrise. Oh, yeah. So that's kind of going along the same vein, except taking it to another level. Yeah. How did you... Tell me about the process of composition with that. Um, I mean, that was literally the first time that... Uh, I mean, as a band, Album Leaf as a band, <laughs> um, that was the first time that we actually worked, you know, together, um, you know, um, making something. Um, so we basically, you know, just kind of hold up in our rehearsal space and just, you know, we play with projections and just kind of projected the movie to, to the wall and just sat there and improvised for basically an hour and a half and then those impro and. Oh, I did this today on the radio too. Those improvisations um, <laughs> um, turned into you know things that we knew exactly what we were doing. So we kind of you know had to put something together and just uh, yeah. I mean it was awesome. It was really fun just trying to create mood and trying to create different things here and there. I mean especially you know to something scoring to something is, is awesome. You know? mm -hmm. so. Do you feel like you wove like you wove little bits of yourself into the story? No. Not so much. I mean, yeah. You were just, just a storyteller. Kind of, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit corny. No, <laughs> I'm sure yeah, you know. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> were there any other collaborations throughout your career that you felt like was like this is a standout? Because I mean, you've been doing it for a long time, or maybe a tour. That same thing, I mean, about a week later, we played the Hollywood Bowl with Mike Heron from Incredible String Band, who not a lot of people are familiar with, but, I mean, back in the day, he was, they were kind of like pioneers of, like, of the whole folk, you know, movement, psychedelic folk thing. Um, they played Woodstock, you know, stuff like that, um, and that was pretty interesting to do that, you know, it kind of tested us as players in a way, because backing a guy like that was just, like, all over the place. It was pretty, it was pretty funny, because he would never play the same song. He would never play the song the same way twice and we just would have to adjust, you know, but even though we practiced and practiced and every time practicing it, it was still different. We're just, you know. So that was cool and then of course playing the Hollywood Bowl, you know, it's like legendary and it's amazing. You know? mm -hmm. So, and of course, I'll, I mean, also working with Cigarros, you know, yeah. for sure, you know. Um, Mono. Yeah, Mono, yeah, totally. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we've made, I mean, I, you know, I've made a lot of friends with a lot of bands that I've respected um, through the years and didn't really even realize that, you know, like when there's certain bands that I meet and I'm just like, oh man, I'm a really big fan of what you do. And they're like, oh, I'm a big fan of you. And I'm just like, really? Like, well, that's crazy, you know, because mm -hmm. I respect them so much as musicians and wouldn't think that they really know about what's, you know, going on. But that's yeah, cool. But, 
Well, thank you again for Definitely. meeting with me and for what you thank do. You. It's and nice I, to meet you. I follow. I, like I said, I've followed you for a while. So <laughs> that's insane yeah. to me. <laughs> hey, see, that's the same kind of thing. I meet people I like. You know, you're yeah. just like, wow, wow, really? That's so, super. Oh, it's a good thing. Cool. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm honored. I'm very, very happy. Thanks for following Seattle Show Go. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing your show tonight. And yeah, so I'm, look, I'm looking forward to playing it. Yeah, good times. <laughs> yeah. Thanks again. Definitely.